out for my uh, Shivai friend here, Adam Topol. Topol playing drums right here on this Jack Johnson track of Sleep Static. So, what to talk about today? Let's talk about letting go, shall we? <laughs> Give Jack a chance, he usually talks about love better than I do. But, uh, so, my view, this whole lost thing is uh, like uh, the essence of love, right? You know, it's hard to imagine, but it's true nonetheless. The, ability to give unconditionally of oneself without the expectation of return. Of course this is into well, brings us into situations such that are those unrequited. <laughs> and uh, always, every day, all day, every day. And even when it is requited it would be uh, only a certain degree of it is, or a certain shape or form of it is going to be requited. So And actually, what is actually requited, right? I imagine it's uh, you don't even determine that shape. You just, especially one of those cases of a woman, right? Anyways, so yeah, love and loss. So hell, I have expectations here. Expectations are creating loss, and then we have, uh, I guess, a certain sense of awe, right, at the scope of our life, loss, the depth of our loss, and then that awe is related to, like, you know, the aftermath of love, which is just that awe. <laughs> so sure, we can eliminate love by eliminating our expectations, but. Uh, we don't have very much fun. You know, we don't laugh and we don't cry. So I choose to laugh and cry from time to time. We're bound by blood that's moving from the moment that we start. From the moment that we start. That image there I brought up front was a giant flaming snake. Which actually moves. Burning Man Playa 2006, I think. Well, that's called Hope and Fear, the Future. <laughs> Hope and Fear, colon, <laughs> space, the future. It's a good party. Some, some year in the future, I'm going to watch The Temple Burn on Sunday night. So just man burn on Saturday night, but uh, let's see. Oh, I guess well, on the topic of Burning Man, I uh, my highlight was practicing yoga in Alex Gray's ashram, I guess he <laughs> called it, and uh, speaking with a man. I asked him what his uh, symbol was. His Basically, his little Cyrus symbol. And he said it's the all seeing eye. The all seeing eye. Yeah. So, anyways, I hope you're all doing real well. And. Sure, I have disappointment. Um, and throughout this process, I love it. disappointment. But if I chose to live without disappointment, I too would choose to live without laughter, right? Without ecstasy. <laughs> so I hope the right woman out there hears that message. And, uh, is interested in fertility because that's my sole purpose. <laughs>
that is nice too. Like, and if you're a man listening to this, then yeah, like, invite a woman to listen to it. For God's sakes. Like, 